Wonderful, and welcome to another Bible study with the Feed My Sheep Foundation video channel. Yes, today is the day of the Lord that he has made, and we will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it because we are a part of his kingdom. We are saints in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Anointed by the almighty heavens who reigns and rules. Hallelujah. In the earth and in the heavens. Hallelujah. So that we can truly rejoice in continually. Okay, even when we are dealing with, unfortunately, adversaries of the Lord. And that is today what will be the title of this video, Adversary, Adversaries of the Lord, and how the Lord breaks those adversaries down. Yes, he does. Yes, he does break them in pieces. Hallelujah for that. Okay, and the Holy Spirit, first of all, led me to Psalm 75 today, where we look at verse 10, uh, where it says, the, All the horns of the wicked will be cut off. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Okay, and we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Once you have been born again of the Holy Ghost, you are part of the kingdom of God. You are sanctified by the Heavenly Father. You are saints in the earth because you've been sanctified by the Almighty God who sanctifies. Okay, through the power of His uh, anointing, His Holy Ghost, His Holy Spirit. Okay, so then the next scripture, the Holy uh, Spirit led me over into was to the book of Ruth. Okay, and uh, the story in the book of Ruth regarding Rachel and Leah. Okay, and how, uh, well, let's go to it. Let's go to chapter four first, okay, in the book of Ruth. Uh, chapter four. Book of Ruth, chapter 4, and uh, la, 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 la. let's get to it right quick here. Jesus Christ, okay. Chapter 4, okay, and it's the story of, of Rachel. Well, it goes into the story. It talks about Rachel, I should say, in verse 11, where it says, And all the people that were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. For the, man, for the Lord make the woman that is come into thine house like Rachel and like Leah, okay, who did, both of them, they built the house of Israel, okay, they built up the house of Israel, and basically, that is what we go forth in the earth doing. Once you have been converted into the kingdom of God, the Heavenly Father has placed you in a position, in an office, in the kingdom, either of a prophet, of an evangelist, of a teacher, of a pastor, uh, the fivefold ministries of, uh, uh, what is it? Let me make sure I have it all. Apostle, prophet, teacher, pastor, evangelist. Okay, so those fivefold gifts, let me make sure I told you correctly. But once you've been placed in one of those offices, okay, in the kingdom, you are to go forward in the kingdom edifying. Lifting up, building up individuals in the kingdom with the word of God, okay? Encouraging them and, and uh, giving them revelation and messages. Now, that is what the spirits, the holy, the gifts that God gives through the kingdom does. It edifies the kingdom. It does not tear it down. It does not condemn it. It does not mock it. It does not um, criticize it. That's not the spirit of God. Whenever that spirit is going forward, You've entered into a spirit or you've come in contact with the spirit of devil and divination, okay? And that is not of the holy God of heaven. For we look over here at the, going into the book of Ephesians. Is it Ephesians? Ephesians, and we see chapter 4 and verse 11. It says, and he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teacher, teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, okay, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, okay, for the building up, okay, for the enhancement, for the revelation and edification of each individual that is birthed into the kingdom of God, all right? So again, we're taking a look today as we go forward in this uh, particular video, we're taking a look at the adversaries of the Lord and how the Lord says that he breaks Hallelujah. The adversaries of the Lord are broken into pieces. And to go into uh oh, excuse me, that particular reading where we can actually see that at. Hallelujah. We're going to take a look at first mm, Samuel. It's the story of Hannah. Okay. And we know that Hannah, she could not bring forth. 
she was barren and she was mocked because she was barren and she could not bring forth. Okay, but nevertheless, the Heavenly Father did answer her prayer as she petitioned uh, Heavenly Father for a child and therefore she began to give and bring forth. Okay, and as she did, she said in verse uh, one of chapter two, Hannah had prayed and said, my heart rejoiced in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. Okay, because God saved her from the mockery of her enemies and that he bestowed upon her a child. And the child, we're reading the book from which that child uh, was, was born to actually go forward in the earth. So it's the book of Samuel because that was the name of the son that she birthed as a result of her praying unto the Heavenly Father and him answering her prayers. So then uh, going on in chapter 2 of this same uh, first Samuel, it says here in verse 4 that the bows of the mighty men are broken and they that stumbled are girded with strength. Now it says here that the bows of the mighty men are broken because they were the adversaries of Hannah. Okay, because they mocked her and teased her, and she was a child of God. She was a part of the kingdom of glory. She was a part of the inheritance, the children of Israel, okay? And so they went forward mocking her, but then she, after she petitioned God, God gave her her petition. He answered her prayer and gave her a child. And then he says here that uh, the bows of the mighty men are broken. He broke what, you know, what they were trying to uh, basically mock her about he broke that okay he moved that out of the way okay because that's what the anointing will do it will break the bondage that the enemy tries to have over the saints of god over the kingdom in the earth and then verse 5 says they that were full have hired out themselves for bread and they that were hungry have seized so that the barren has born seven and she that has many children is wax feeble for the Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and he brings up. The Lord makes poor and he makes rich and he brings low and he also lifts up. So we see Hannah was lifted up. Hallelujah. And the Heavenly Father is saying today, because of the adversaries of the Lord and the adversaries of the kingdom of God, because if you have an adversary, that's God's adversary too. He is getting ready to break a lot of adversaries that have been exalting themselves over the kingdom of God, okay? Placing themselves in position to reign and to rule in authority over his kingdom when he is their God and he is to reign and to rule over them. So therefore, because they have exalted themselves, God is breaking them down right now. Hallelujah. He's going forward mightily in the earth and breaking them down in Jesus Christ's mighty, powerful name. Hallelujah. And we thank you, O Heavenly Father. We thank you for breaking the back, breaking down our adversaries, those that have risen up toward us because we maybe have not been able to do what they are doing or whatever or what the you know what everyone else could do because of course all women were born to have children but hannah we see she couldn't have children and so therefore she was teased and uh, mocked because of that so therefore that is why the hand of the lord began to show up and show out in her life mightily all right, so this was a very quick video regarding the adversaries of the Lord and how the Lord is breaking them. He says they will be broken. Uh, let me see. I think I do have another scripture that may go into alignment with this. Verse 10. Verse 10 of this same 1 Samuel chapter 2. Well, the Lord tells us that the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Break them down, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He says, out of heaven shall he thunder, okay, upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and he shall exalt the horn of his anointed. My, 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 hallelujah. This is encouragement to the kingdom because of what the saints may be going through in the earth because they are going forward in the word. They are laboring in the kingdom. They are laboring in the word. And the Lord said there is a reward for those who labor in his, war, his, his word, okay? There is a reward, a hallelujah. He brings a reward to the saints of God that labor in his word, that labor in his kingdom, that labor in the harvest of bringing in the souls to his kingdom, hallelujah. 
He has a reward for that. Hallelujah. And then he has a reward for the adversaries too. They're broken in pieces. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Heavenly Father, gracious, holy God. We thank you for your mighty hand, hallelujah, intervening all at all times for those that come up against your kingdom to start to try to stop the way of your spirit from going forward. For you have decreed and declared out of your word, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm, but they have ignored your word. And this is what is very important in reference to that. Because, you know, just because a person doesn't believe God and that is your right, you have an, you know, you God gives us all uh, an opportunity or the, uh, the uh, uh, I should say, the gift of choice, <laughs> because, you know, we can choose to either, you know, not believe in God and his word, or we can choose to believe because he chooses all of us to believe. But if you choose not to believe, no problem. But nevertheless, just because you don't believe in his word does not mean his word is not the truth and does not mean that his word is not going to go forward because it's prophetic, because God is prophetic and everything he says comes to pass. And if he has decreed and declared, vengeance is mine, I will repay, he's going to repay. He's coming with vengeance. Hallelujah. And with this message, with this revelation, it is to the kingdom of God, to the saints that have been laboring in the word, laboring in the kingdom and have been dealing with a lot of adversaries on the left, on the right, in the front and in the back. God is saying he's breaking them to pieces right now in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, for breaking them down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So again, this was a very short what sweet revelation from the Heavenly Father of encouragement to the kingdom of God in reference to the adversaries that have tried to, again, stop you from going forward. There will be no more of that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. All right. So God bless you in the kingdom of God. God be with you. And I will see you as we continue to go forward here on the Feed My Sheep Foundation Bible Study video channel. I will see you on our next video. But until then... Peace and God be with you.